In this video, I want to show you a case study that I'm going to walk you through how I go about optimizing a page and having immediate quick wins. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. And I'm going to start with a page that I have not started optimizing, but one small caveat. The only thing I did on this page that I did optimize is that you see the top on the left side, right under the word problemio, there is this background image right here with the foreground is the text, how to prevent employees from stealing clients. But really the background image is the image. I compressed it. So it's already faster loading and it's on top here. So it's faster. But other than that, I have not started to optimize it. And you can see the report that I ran, performance 26. And the worst part about it is it took eight seconds for the first meaningful paint. And when you get into the problem areas, the suggestions they have is they say, first and foremost, look by how much of a wide margin they say reduce render blocking style sheets. And if you expand that, they tell you which ones they reduce. Now I've gone ahead, I've talked to my designer and the process was that I tested by elimination and I said, Hey, some of the style sheets here, and I'll make this bigger for you so you can see. Some of the style sheets here are ones that my designer was able to quickly say, hey, you're not using them in this page. For example, these to the owl carousel, the, the, the second from the bottom and the third from the bottom, those are for some specific tasks that I'm not using. This one that's lobster, that's to make this text pretty, but it's not that pretty in a way, because even though it's kind of pretty, the, pro the it is in, in a sense problematic, it's a little bit hard for some people to read. So I decided to take this one out. And also this icon moon, I'm not using icon issues on this browser. Now I totally have been ignoring these issues and it might be the same for you. If you've gone through multiple redesigns, this might be something that's happening to you. I had no idea that I was using, that I was referencing so much CSS files that I'm not even using. So now I'm going to show you results of this after I go specifically, I'm going to take out style. I'm going to take out lobster CSS, the out, the two owl, and I might take out one or two other ones after some research. And I'll show you comparative case study of what happens if you, how much of speed gain you get just by taking out those CSS files. Now I've taken out those CSS files and I've run the same audit on this file. The only difference is that there's missing CSS files. So you can see the difference. You can see that here, my overall performance score is 42. This is a performance score that's calculated by Google. It's not a specific metric. It's not a single metric, but it's an overall score. And this is the previous test that I ran maybe just 10 minutes ago, right before I started filming. 26, you see, we have a huge performance boost from only removing a couple of lines of text, very easy. And you see that it took originally eight seconds to start loading and then 15 minutes, 15 seconds to finish loading. And then right away after this test, we have a very, a very significant boost in the initial load. And the initial load is the most important because that's where people already have some content and people who are visiting your site already have something to do on your site, like start reading the title or the heading and looking at something at least to occupy themselves so that they don't get bored and leave. Okay. So that's a super, super important item. And right away, we almost double the speed. We more than double the speed and the users are going to, you're going to experience tremendous boost in engagement just from this. Now, if we go, to things that are being complained about, you see that here in the original time that we ran it, the main complaint was by far, we had to reduce render blocking style sheets. Now we have reduced render blocking style sheets. That's only a third worst problem. We really minimized that problem. And you see, it only took a second, 1.1 second. Okay. And before that, what was happening is it was taking four seconds. So this problem, we almost get rid of our problem for, the, for, for by and large. And so the next thing is preloading key requests. Now, this is something else that it's complaining about. And we're going to see if we can fix that in the future. But also now something to focus on as well is reduce render blocking scripts. And we're going to attempt to tackle that shortly.